Hello students, today we are going to solve the exercise 2F from R.S. Agarwal, the exercise, uh, the chapter is polynomial for the grade 9. Okay, so this exercise is basically depends upon the factorization using a simple rule that is the difference between two squares. So in this entire exercise, uh, we have 24 questions, so I'm planning to do it in two different videos, the part 1 and this the part 2. So, we will be using the uh, formula a square minus b square equals to a plus b into a minus b. This is the formula we will be using for our entire exercise. Okay. Okay. So, let's do it. Uh, I'm planning to do 12 questions for the part 1 and 12 questions for the part 2. If you look at my previous videos, I have already solved the entire exercise uh, chapter 2F till exercise A to exercise E. So let's do it. So we have to, whatever the questions is given, we have to convert it into difference of two square numbers so that we can use the formula so we have first one is very simple 25 x square minus 64 y square so that can be written as 5 x whole square minus 8 y whole square and that should give you a a square minus b square this is in this form so the first 5x is your a so you can convert it into a and this you can take as b so according to the formula you must have 5x plus 8y times 5x minus 8y so that will be the final factorization of the question the second question given 100 minus 9x square 100 minus 9x square so this will be 10 whole square minus 3x whole square. Again, if you take the 10 as a and 3x as b, you can write 10 plus 3x that is a plus b times 10 minus 3x that is a minus b. The question number 3 is given 5x square minus 7y square. 5x square minus 7y square okay so in this question we can see that 5 and 7 both are not perfect square but we we know about the radical so we can convert it into radical so 5 you can write it as minus 5 whole square and 7 you can write it as min, uh, 7 whole square under root 7 whole square 5 as under root 5 whole square and 7 as under root 7 whole square so you can write it's 5x whole square minus 7y whole square under root 7y whole square so the answer will be 5x plus under root 7y and 5 under root 5x minus under root 7y a plus b into a minus b that's about the third one we can do the fourth one here The fourth question is given 3x plus 5y whole square minus 4z square. 3x plus 5y whole square minus 4z square. And we can still do it. It's 3x plus 5y whole square minus 2x whole square. And I can just apply the formula. Sorry. What I have done wrong is it will be 3z, uh, 2z, not x. So 3x plus 5y plus 2z into 3x plus 5y minus 2z. That will be the fourth one. So let's do the fifth one. Remember, we are using the formula a square minus b square equals to a plus b whole square. a plus b into a minus b, sorry. So we can take... Can we take 6 common? No, we can take 3 common only. Or maybe we can take 6 common. Yeah, we can take 6 common. So it will be 25 minus x squared. 
which we can write further as 5 whole square minus x square and if I apply the formula it will be 5x my uh, 5 plus x into 5 minus x that will be the fifth one the sixth one is given 20x square minus 45 so 20x square minus 45 so we can take 5 out of here I will be getting 4x square minus 9 which I can convert it is difference of two perfect squares and if I apply the formula it will become 2x plus 3 into 2x minus 3 that's the sixth one we can do the seventh one you can always pause the video to understand the question which I am doing here but my suggestion is don't copy the questions you should try to understand how I am doing it and then try to do it yourself I can take x 3x common I will be left with x square minus 16 and which I can further factorize by converting into difference between two perfect squares so it's 3x times x plus 4 into x minus 4 this will be the answer for the seventh one the eighth one 2 minus 50x square so we can take 2 out so 1 minus fa uh, 1 minus 10x square sorry 1 minus 25x square how I got 2 because I can simply write that 2 as 1 into 2 and if I take 2 common I will be left with 1 minus 25x square most of the students do a mistake here that they used to do if I take 2 common I will be left with 0 but no Taking common is actually very similar to doing the division. So actually what you are doing here, you are dividing the 2 with 2 and the answer you should write. So 2 into 1 plus 5x into 1 minus 5x. That will be the answer for the 8th one. Now I'm doing the ninth one. The ninth one is 20, 27a square minus 48b square. Okay, so we can take three common. So it's 9a square minus 16b square, which I can convert into difference between two perfect squares 3a whole square minus 4b whole square which further can be factorized as 3a plus 4b 3a minus 4b the tenth one x minus 64x cube which I can from where I can take x out it will be 1 minus 64x square which we can further factorize as 1 square minus 8x the whole square x into 1 plus 8x into 1 minus 8x that will be the answer for the 10th one after the 10th one we should go for the 11th one which is uh, 8 into ab square minus 18 a cube okay so we can take 2a common from here we will be left with 4b square minus 9a square which we can convert as the difference between two square numbers and further factorization will give you 2b plus 3a 2b minus 3a the twelfth one the twelfth one and the last one for this first part of the video if you are enjoying the videos if you if these videos are helpful for you don't forget to like share and subscribe and comment into the section few of my regular students in the YouTube has commented that those videos are good they are helping they have also asked me for one to one session we which I always at the end of the video I used to tell you that I also provide one to one session if you want any one-to-one -one session that means any uh, 
personal one-to-one -one session with me as a doubt clearing or for the inter-syllabus or particular any topic from any gate any board you can always ask me for that it will be an audio video call along with the whiteboard okay anyway so we are doing the three uh, from here we can simply take the three a b common i'm left with a square and from here i will be left with 81 b square which i can further uh, convert into the form so that we can just do the factorization so the answer will be 3 a b into a minus a plus 9 b times a minus 9 b so that's the uh, 12th question in the part 2 we'll be solving from the 13th to 24th question and upcoming videos i will be solving the 2g 2h 2i all these exercises we have long list of exercises for the first chapter uh, the second chapter polynomial and after polynomial we have lines angles and triangles i i'm planning to solve uh, interbook for you guys so thanks for watching the video don't forget to subscribe share and like the video if you have any particular demand you can always write down that in the comment section that I want this exercise or this particular question or this particular topic need to be explained. I will be happy to help you always. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video. Bye.